Influencing popular culture, politics, and everything in between. The local station takes you ringside as we discuss the crazy world that is professional wrestling. This is Going Ringside with the local station. Hello, I'm Scott Johnson, and welcome to this special on-location episode of the Going Ringside podcast. We're coming to you from Milwaukee, Wisconsin at the Republican National Convention with a very interesting and unique guest for the wrestling world, perhaps someone who's never really talked much about her wrestling past, and that would be Linda McMahon, the former owner alongside her husband, Vince McMahon, of WWE for decades, a company they built together. Linda McMahon, if you have not been following politics for years, became heavily involved in the Republican Party following her departure from WWE after she stepped down. She had two unsuccessful runs for the U.S. Senate in the McMahon home state of Connecticut. That didn't work out, but you know, things really changed for her. Around 2015, 2016, when former President Donald Trump was elected president, she was tapped to be in his cabinet. The owner of WWE was essentially a cabinet level position in the US government. She was head of the Small Business Administration under the Trump administration for his first term. Midway through the term, she eventually stepped down and started becoming one of his biggest bundlers. The McMahons remain to this day one of the biggest supporters of Donald Trump in his race for the presidency here in 2024. Now, on the personal side, all the reports have been for years that Linda McMahon and Vince McMahon had uh, essentially been an estranged couple, still legally married, but not really together as a couple. She had been away from wrestling for a while and heavily, heavily involved in politics, which she remains to this day. Here at the convention, she is slated to be a speaker, to endorse President Trump, say someone that she is, you know, as she tells me, had the honor of her life to serve in his cabinet. So she is still an active part of the Trump campaign. As far as wrestling, I was just listening to her speak to a crowd of political supporters, and you know what she was talking about? She was talking about pro wrestling, and the fans were loving it here. These are just average political people who don't necessarily follow pro wrestling, but they knew who Linda McMahon was because she came from that wrestling world, really starting the WWF and bringing it to global prominence alongside Vince. And then, of course, her children, Stephanie McMahon, married to the current uh, kind of the head man, really one of the head men in WWE, Triple H, and her son Shane. Now, of course, as we've covered here on the Going Ringside podcast, the McMahon family has ran into considerable issues in the last several years. As I said, it appears by all accounts that Vince and Linda had um, been separated for quite a long time, but still remain a, a married couple. Vince, of course, has ran into considerable problems. It was a few years ago when there were some accusations made against Vince McMahon, who was then CEO, head of the company. He stepped away for a while, and then around a year ago returned to the company and continued in his position as the chairman of the board after WWE merged with UFC to become the new TKO group. But Linda McMahon was no longer involved in wrestling. However, you couldn't really separate her from that. Linda McMahon is still intrinsically a part of just kind of the wrestling atmosphere because she helped build WWE alongside Vince. However, earlier this year, more trouble for the McMahon family. When a woman, a former staffer at WWE named Janelle Grant uh, accused Vince McMahon of a lot of things, primarily the most serious of which sex trafficking, Vince McMahon eventually resigned and left the company as he still to this day is dealing with that ongoing litigation. We heard weeks ago that Janelle Grant had pulled away from her lawsuit, which we've covered extensively here at Going Ringside, while the Department of Justice has actively been investigating Vince McMahon. Those have been the reports the last few months. There's been no real information from DOJ on what is going on with Vince McMahon. But throughout all this, one person we've never really heard from is Linda. Since all this drama unfolded, Linda McMahon has kept a relatively low profile. However, this week at the Republican National Convention, her, pri her profile is getting back up again because she is still part of the political machine that is the Trump candidacy for president for the GOP side in 2024. Still very involved. And there have been reports that Vince and 
Trump are also still very close. Linda, of course, publicly showing it, speaking here at the convention. She's talked to a lot of different groups. We saw her uh, speaking at one, and she's expected to be one of the keynote speakers for the major convention. So we caught up with Linda McMahon, a singularly unique wrestling figure. She was a businesswoman. She helped biz build the company, and then went, she went beyond and was essentially at the White House level in the cabinet endorsing former President Trump, who he himself is a WWE Hall of Famer because he had a roughly 30-year relationship with the McMahons, heavily involved in three different WrestleManias. We did a full episode about Trump's background. And of course, as much as everyone talks about Vince and Trump being close, Trump and Linda were also close. So we were able to catch up with her here in Milwaukee and speak to her about her political ambitions, her relationship with the former president, and what wrestling fans really want to know, how her family's been doing, because this has been quite a year for the McMahon family if you've followed it at all. And there's still a lot of drama unfolding. So let's get to it. Here is her interview with former WWE head woman, essentially, Linda McMahon, who was in the Trump cabinet and is still one of his major, major top supporters going into the presidential race in November. Here's Linda McMahon. Ms. McMahon, how did you first and get involved? How did the, you still support Trump. President Trump? You were in his cabinet. How did the relationship start for you guys? It seems like 40 years ago. It was, it was almost 30 years ago now. We met, and he was a, he was a big fan of the product ever, of WWE, and uh, he came in. in he, he was in period. some of our storylines, some of the highest rated storylines. We became friends, and uh, we've been friends ever since. We, we and I was honored. It was the honor of a lifetime to serve in his cabinet. I wanted to ask about that. How did that decision, how did that, how did he approach you to even say, I want you in the cabinet? Well, it was a call, came from Trump Tower after he was the president-elect, and uh, I went up to talk to him and he said, look, he said, I've got a novel idea. He said, I want somebody to run the Small Business Administration who's actually run a business and actually understands what it's like for business people who are starting up, what, what it is uh, that impacts them positively and negatively, and he said, I would like for you to consider doing it. Was politics like pro wrestling at all? <laughs> well, clearly, there uh, we don't have a ring uh, that we're working in, but uh, I'm really happy to be able to to, to work now in, with AFPI. I'm the chair of the America First Policy Institute. So we're drafting policy. We have a, a sister C4 organization, America First Works. That's what they're talking about on stage right now, which is uh, which is about. Wow. Uh, canvassing our, from canvassing voters, targeting voters, talking to them, and, and uh, bringing this election way, home tell you what's for uh, Donald J. Trump. And right. how are you and the family doing? It's been an up and down year for you guys. Uh, we're Bobby all doing great. Thank you. So that was our interview with Linda McMahon, former head woman at the WWE, built it alongside her husband Vince went to the White House, served in the Trump administration, still heavily involved in the business community and the Trump campaign, speaking here at the RNC and looking forward in her hope to another Trump uh, term in the Oval Office. And she likely would be heavily involved. Linda McMahon is really a fixture in Northeast Republican politics, very close with the Trump administration, because there's been a lot of look at, uh, because of really what happened at the WrestleMania in 2007 with Vince and Trump fighting and facing off, and you could tell they were truly friends. He was also very close with Linda, putting her in the cabinet. She was always widely regarded as maybe the most respected person ever in the pro wrestling world. And when I asked her at the end, you probably heard, how's the family doing? It was an it was kind of a tough spot to ask because all the people were around, but I didn't want to see how she's doing. Just says, we're doing fine. As you know, her family right now, Triple H still involved in WWE. All the direct McMahons not necessarily involved in pro wrestling anymore. Vince with his issues, Linda in politics, Triple H, or excuse me, rather Steph and Shane not actively involved in WWE right now. So definitely a changing time for the McMahon family. And we were certainly happy to sit and be able to talk with Linda McMahon about how her life is going. She is singularly a unique figure in pro wrestling history. One of the few people that was widely regarded as kind of above the fray. A widely well-regarded businesswoman who went into politics and is really a national powerhouse in the political world 
as well as still an icon in the world of pro wrestling. So I appreciate you showing up for this episode of Going Ringside. We got a lot more underway. Kane's going to be coming in coming weeks, and we just had Mick Foley. Want to go check out that show right now? A lot of huge guests on the show. Of course, this Linda McMahon episode we wanted to bring to you specially here for Milwaukee in light of the Republican National Convention happening right now. So thanks for joining us on this episode of Going Ringside. I'm Scott Johnson. We'll see you back here next time. This has been Going Ringside with The Local Station, brought to you every Wednesday on your favorite podcast player, on News 4 Jax Plus, as well as the News 4 Jax YouTube channel.